Bob and Alan had some beats at first, all right, and Bob gave one quarter of his beats to Alan. Next, Alan gave one sixth of his beats to Bob. As a result, both Bob and Alan had the same number of beats, all right, so they had an equal number of beats in the end. All right, so the total number of beats that both Bob and Alan have is 480. So for questions like this, all right, we have to work backwards. All right, we have got no clue absolutely how many beats Bob and Alan have at first. All right, but what they did give us is the clue that they had 480 in total. All right, so we know that in the end, all right, Bob and Alan had the same number of beats. All right, so Bob must have had 240 and Alan must have had 240. How do I know that? Because you take 480 divided by 2 and you get 240. All right, so we have to work backwards from the end. Okay, now, so what we have to do in questions like this is to read backwards as well. All right, so let's read this sentence here. Next, Alan gave one sixth of his beats to Bob. All right, in the end, they had the same number of beats. All right, so this is the end. All right, so after Alan gave one sixth of his beats to Bob, all right, Alan must have had five sixths of his beats left. So five sixths of Alan's beats has to be equal to 240. One sixth of Alan's beats has to be equal to 240 divided by five, and all of Alan's beats is equal to 240 over 5 times 6 alright this will work out to be 288 bits alright so one step before alright one step before alright Alan had 288 bits alright and Bob must have had 480 which is the total minus 288 so remember the total at any point in time stays unchanged all right so total stays unchanged at any point in time all right so Bob must have had 480 minus 288 which is actually equal to 192 bits all right just to check all right at this point in time if Alan gave one six of his bits away to Bob 1 6 multiplied by 288 is equal to 48 all right as you can see Alan reduced by 48 288 minus 240 is equal to 48 which is the same as the above working we have here all right as you can see here in this case all right 240 minus 192 is also 48 all right so this was what happened all right Alan gave 48 bits away all right and Bob received 48 bits all right so in the end Bob had 240 bits so the interaction between this and this or rather the difference between this and this is 48 all right, and the difference between this and this is also 48. So Alan, all right, dropped by 48 and Bob increased by 48. All right, so when Alan, all right, decreased by 48, Bob increased by 48. All right, so this is the interaction between the two individuals that you actually have to understand. All right, so let's go on to one step before. Remember, we are reading backwards so we've already read this sentence we've already done our workings so let's read this sentence right now bob is the main character of this sentence bob gave one quarter of his beats to alan so therefore bob must have had three quarter of his beats left so three quarter of bob's beats is equal to 192 so three quarter of bob's beats all right 
has to be equal to 192 alright so at first Bob must have had 192 divided by 3 times 4 alright and this will work out to be 256 alright now we know that Ellen must have had 480 minus 256 and that is equal to 224 bits alright so this is what Bob and Ellen had at first respectively Bob had 256 bits at first and Ellen had 224 bits at first alright so A how many bits did Bob have at first? Bob had 256. Alright, this is our answer to A. And for part B, right, Ellen had 224 at first.